Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here now that my three informative videos are done for the day because it was a Q&A day. It's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And today we're not going to trash on anybody. Today's going to be a positive one. Uh, we're going to talk about George Lehman. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. Work on skilling up my crafting a little bit and let's uh, go into that. Because George made a video yesterday discussing learning from his mistakes. Now... I thought that was good. It was interesting. I enjoyed the video. Uh, the thing is, I've always respected George Lehman. I've told you guys that many times. A couple things I don't like that he does, but overall, I've always respected his work ethic, his training ethic, and his strength. I've always had a lot of respect for that for many, many years. Uh, I do feel that his attitude, though, is very self-destructive. And I feel like, uh, you know, again, that he is going to hurt himself, that he's going to have a short life, he's going to have injuries down the road, a lot of them, uh, because of his attitude of really and truly not caring about himself. Uh, and he has a long history of that, and he's admitted that, that his self-hatred sometimes uh, drives him forward. Um, you know, that's been a big part of his motivation. He's been in a very dark place many times, and he wouldn't necessarily wish that on anyone. And I do feel that the way that he deadlifts, and that's one of my, oh, that's one of my big beasts with George, has always been the way he deadlifts. Uh, when it comes to injury risk, people are like, well, why do you say not to touch and go deadlift? I think touch and go deadlifts is one of the stupidest things you can do in the gym. I really and truly believe that. Uh, I believe that that is the number one cause of back injuries. It's tapping the bar on the floor, not doing a full reset. I, I think it is no person in their right mind would ever do that who doesn't want to risk ending up in a wheelchair. Deadlift is a safe exercise if you perform it correctly. That's not doing it. And people say, well, George Lehman does it, and that's then their justification for doing something that's going to hurt them. Well, George has got different genetics. He's built, he's made of different stuff than the rest of us, structurally, mentally, everything else. Um, again, he's more resilient in certain ways. I can promise you most people would never touch and go, 200 pounds less than he lifts without snapping themselves up, okay? Just how it is. But the thing is, he's going through kind of a phase of introspection, and it's one of the things he noted is that people he looked up to years ago, who he kind of followed their lead, they're changing their life. Some really strong guys out there who he's like, they were misinformed, and they gave me bad advice of not taking care of myself, of just bulking up, getting as fat as you have to to get strong, uh, training through injuries, all sorts of crazy stuff that people put themselves through. That he was advised to do that a lot of these guys are getting older. They have kids, they have families now, and they're uh, beat up, banged up, and they're worried about their health. They're sitting around eating clean diets, uh, concerned about their hearts, all these things because they realize that strength at any cost has not been worth it. And let's go out on a limb and say, how about I just strength with any physical attribute goal? How about body composition? How about getting lean at any cost? Getting big at any cost? Right? Getting strong at any cost. Guys, I'm a strength athlete. I love strength. I want to get a hell of a lot stronger than I am now. I want to regain the strength I had in my 20s now that I'm in my 40s, and I'm working towards that. I probably won't reach all of it, but I'm going to get as close as I can, but not at any cost. And I appreciate that George is saying that because a lot of people out there follow George, and he's had a very hardcore, very destructive mentality, and I don't think that mentality is deserved because a lot of that stems back to his childhood. It's not because George was a bad person. Uh, it's his childhood and certain aspects of that led to him beating himself up, as he put it, being masochistic or, you know, or sadistic towards himself, punishing himself. Um, you know, I don't think he deserves that. Yeah, it's helped him become really strong, but, you know, life time effects for all we know he could have herniated discs already from the way he deadlifts um carrying the body weight he's carried for for that many years when younger uh, could have already caused some issues with his cardiovascular system there's possibly problems already there from the way that he's punished and abused himself to reach those goals and he's now going already still at a fairly young age i don't know if all this is worth it no i don't think george deserves to to hate himself like that because he never struck me as a bad person. Like, George is one of those guys that the, the dark side of him is destructive towards himself, not towards others. 
he's not a bad person. He really isn't. Uh, you know, <laughs> and he doesn't deserve to put himself through that. And I really would like to see more of that. Of guys out there talking about, look, guys, I mean, this all of this strength training and everything else, this needs to build us up. We need to be smarter. We need to care about our health. And that's like I'm telling guys out there, yeah, I'm a, I'm a strength athlete. Yeah, I've got a powerlifting background. Yeah, I'll probably do other strength sports maybe down the road. I'm looking at a few different options out there. Uh, but I need time to rebuild my base where I want it. But the thing is, we've got to care about our cardio and conditioning. We have to care about our diets. All right, training and carrying extra muscle mass and body weight can be hard on your body. That's hard enough on your body. Yeah, we're going to be healthier than the average uh, 40 or 50 pound overweight American who's sedentary, but it takes a toll. Uh, it takes a toll. Just like guys who diet down excessively lean, that takes a toll. That will destroy your body. What we do, not because of the weight training aspect of it, but doing dumb stuff like training through the injuries, carrying the extra muscle mass, the strain of all that can put a strain on your organs. Um, we have to be smarter with this. We've got to keep our conditioning up. We have to eat our vegetables, you know. Um, and that's stuff I've been pushing a lot of lately. Like for me, I do cardio every single day. And I'm not doing cardio because everyone's like, oh man, why aren't you ripped? Because I eat a lot of calories. It's real simple, guys. So calories in, calories out. It doesn't matter how clean you eat and how much you train. If you eat more calories than you burn, you're not going to lose scale weight. It's a very simple concept. I don't know why that's lost on people. But uh, cardio for the sake of having a healthier heart. How about eating broccoli and spinach and things like that every day? And I eat green vegetables every day. And I'm telling us we have to do this because we need the nutrients. Uh, we need the health benefits. We need the vitamin K and, and all sorts of other phytonutrients and things in there for our heart health. Uh, for the health of our organs. These are, these are things that we need to do. And they shouldn't be optional. It can't be strength at any cost. And we can't neglect these other things. We cannot do it. And the same thing with training injuries, because he talks about that. And you know what? Even powerlifting doesn't have to be inherently risky as far as injuries go. If you train smart and you're careful with your technique and you're willing to say, you know what, things like, I'm willing to bench press 10 less pounds if it means saving my shoulders because of the way that I choose to train. Something as simple as your grip width and bar path. Oh no, you're going to bench 390 in comp instead of 400, but you don't need a shoulder surgery later. How about I not I compete without knee wraps so that I don't destroy my knee joints? You know, a lot of simple stuff like that. How about I'm going to reset on my deadlifts? And how about whenever I have connective tissue that hurts, I deload instead of pushing through it. Because we're seeing that being pushed as a hardcore thing. And that's one of the worst things. That's one reason I, I can't stand Loblider. He put a guy on his channel and then they were bragging about how many training injuries this bodybuilder had had. Like it was a badge of honor to have torn this muscle and that muscle. That's stupidity. That's not a badge of honor. That's a mark of stupidity. That's a mark of ignorance. All right. You don't have to get hurt to get a 400 pound bench press or a 600 pound deadlift. It's not necessary to be injured to do these things. It just isn't. We can train smarter. And that includes not training through nagging aches and pains, knowing when to deload, knowing when to adjust. You know what? If you're getting elbow tendonitis, maybe it's time to reassess what you're doing in the gym. Instead of training through it, figure out what you're doing wrong. Maybe there's an isolation movement you're doing that's causing it. Maybe you're doing too many stupid board presses that don't even carry over to your raw bench anyways. Maybe that's the problem. Assessing these things critically so that we don't get hurt, so that we don't get banged up, so that we are all still strong when we are in our 50s, our 60s, our 70s. All right, that's the name of the game, longevity. Uh, and I'm glad George is, is talking about this because this is someone who has historically had a very self-destructive attitude. And it looks like he's finally turning over kind of a new leaf with that. 
Um, it's a very positive thing. I'm very glad to see it, and I will support his efforts to do that in any way that I can. You know if that means? Hey, guys, go check that out. You guys go offer him your support. Go to his channel. Tell George, watch the video. Uh, tell him that you appreciate him taking that approach, and you want to see more of it. Uh, that's the best thing we can do. Encourage him to move forward with that, because a lot of guys out there look up to him for his strength. Um, and I think that gives him the potential to really help a lot of people. And so I think all of us need to encourage uh, this, this change in philosophy, this evolution we're seeing in Lehman. Because um, we need to see it happen. Because I don't want to see this guy get hurt. I don't want to see him die. He's actually a good guy. Uh, and I'd hate to see that. Particularly for someone who's that strong of an athlete. Uh, I think he's got the potential to be an ambassador for real health and real fitness and strength sports. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.